Ahoy toy, welcome to Transfixed, the channel that is 7 feet below sea level. Sorry for the shaky cam, but this is huge. Today we're going to talk about a G.I. Joe item, because it's not very popular today, but G.I. Joe was huge in the 80s, and it was my favorite toy line, even though I'm all about Transformers these days. In 1985, I believe, they released the largest place I ever created, the USS Flag, measuring at just over 7 feet in length. Now, of course, every kid wanted this, but only the rich kids could really get it, and, um... I never had it, but as an adult, I'm slowly building it piece by piece, getting pieces on eBay. And uh, I wanted something, some semblance of a deck, so I built a little piece out of wood that I'm showing you here. And so let's take a look at that. So I bought this bottom piece, then I bought the top piece, then I built this. And this is just a piece of 3 8 inch shelf board. Uh, another advantage of uh, my parents having a closet organizer shop. I got a, this little piece here, just had it cut, and then I painted part of it. Um, this is 10 inches deep by 22 inches long. It adds about uh, two and a half feet ahead of the uh, the conning tower here. So that brings the overall size of this playset so far to about uh, 16 inches long and 22 and a half inches deep. So I'll just give you kind of a Overview of what I have so far. I still need to get some ladders. I've got uh, the doors in another room And I think this gives a nice little bit of decking here So I could make a little diorama once I figure out where to put it now what I may do is Put a uh, support strut at the bottom here just to keep it from tipping over. It's pretty stable just sitting on this base here um, But it could use something or I might actually attach it to a table This could actually hang off the table right if I put it on the corner you could just butt up against it here. And you can kind of see the way I put this together. I'm going to take this off and show you uh, more detail about how I did this. So I got this idea just because I thought this is the most playable part of the playset. I don't need the whole deck. I'm not going to have fighter jets posed on it. I don't have that kind of room in my house. But uh, this gives me something I could probably find room for, although I still haven't quite solved that problem. Uh, I think I could fit it into one of my displays. You can see this part of the wood is unpainted. It's just the regular white finish that's on it. So all I've done here is I've got this rectangular piece of wood and I uh, I, I put it, I, I picked this thickness because this actually fits in the slot here because this is where it's supposed to attach to the deck of the flag. And uh, I don't know what thickness it is, but I see at the smallest part here, it's about three eighths of an inch. So I picked it there to, to sort of wedge in there. I tested it out with some other stuff, it seemed to work fine. Anything thicker I don't think would be practical unless you cut it a notch in the bottom for these tabs. Uh, there's one on either end. So, um, so what I did is I just I put it in there and I lined it up the way I liked it. And then I took a pencil and you can see the line. I drew a line, traced the outside and the inside of the, uh, of the first floor there. So I knew where to paint. And then I masked it off with painter's tape. And then just spray painted gray onto the deck part. And uh, I took about, um, I'd say, three coats. And then I just topped it off with a clear coat for protection. And uh, all over the whole thing to protect the white part too. Although it's a bit scratched up, not too big a deal. And then for the bottom part, I guess I could take this whole thing out now. The bottom part, I just traced where those notches were. So there's a notch, uh, let's say, here. And on the other end there. So I traced where those were and just took my Dremel with a sanding bit and just made kind of a hole. <laughs> Very crude, but just so it has something to sort of notch into uh, to make it a bit more secure. There's another mod, uh, just to mention, in case you're interested, that somebody did online where they painted the inside of the flag with uh, a sort of um, seafoam color uh, to make it look like a real naval ship because lots of naval ships have that sort of... Uh, light bluey green seafoam color inside. It looks quite nice. I was considering doing it myself. For this, I might just do it for the lower deck because I think I want to keep it uh, just, you know, original vintage style on top. Maybe I'll do that down here just to see how it looks. Um, now, of course, I've whitened this up too. I think I didn't do as good a job on this top one as I did with this later piece I got here. You can see this is more white. Um, and I did that with the, um, the hair uh, peroxide. 
I've got another video. If you look on my channel for the wheel jack restoration video, you can see how I whitened up the plastic with that. It's the same process. You just sort of wipe it all over and put it in the sun. And uh, that does the trick. There's a whole formula for retro bright you can find online where people do a mixture of peroxide and some other stuff. But I'm too lazy for that. I just use straight peroxide and it worked fine for my purposes. So I've put this back in. I'm just going to slot it back in. I'll try to do it one handed. It just slides in and we'll eventually hit those notches. Okay, I can't do this one handed, but you get the idea, I hope. So I've put it back in now and there's a nice satisfying little snap when it, when those tabs go into the holes. Uh, you just gotta be careful you don't go all the way through because it's not very thin wood. And this is just particle board. You can find something else. Um, like I said, there were three eighths. Seems to be a good thickness. If you can find anything that work for that, or perhaps you can use plastic if you can find it that thick. Yeah, this is shelf board. It's supposed to have a metal edge put onto it. I don't know, uh, you could probably find this at a hardware store for, um, or like Home Depot or something like that. And uh, I'm glad I put the protective coat on because it actually looks a little bit nicer with a bit of a reflection there. I'm gonna have another go with this with the, with the peroxide to whiten it up and slowly get those extra pieces put in. I need some more, I have a rare, piece I need to find for this, some ladders, uh, a few of the computer pieces that are missing in here, and um, this is my anniversary uh, modern area uh, keel haul. I don't like that name, though, because the uh, the vintage figure is is more expensive. So, so he's in there, and I actually glued this together. I don't know if I should have, but it's just it's a bit hard to line up, so I, I may glue the whole thing permanently in place once I've got it done, just because it's going to be kind of a diorama piece. So there's a quick look at my uh, flag deck. In case anybody is pining for a flag like me and needed a smaller solution, maybe that would be helpful. As always, thank you for watching.